Yo, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to a brand new video. This one's going to be a banger. We have some superb jet flying. Of course, can't forget the tryhards. <laughs> and a little bit of cringe. Mm, that's a 10. All right, let's get to it. I had loaded into my buddy's lobby, and he said that he had found the ultimate sweat. This dude was griefing people. And not only that, but he was doing it on the Mark II. By the way, this was recorded back when KD was still affected in free mode. So my guess was he was trying to give it a little boost. I pumped those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. As I'm making my way to him in the laser, he ends up killing my buddy. <laughs> now it was time for the superb pilot to come out and play. It seemed like people really wanted this yellow tryhard dead because I get a message from one of the players that he's killing and he said, please kill yellow. Affirmative. Sadly for me, however, Jehud ended up going off the radar and killing my friend yet again. <laughs> On top of that, he ends up going ghost. So I went ghost and my friend Sergeant wasn't in my CEO. So when we were hunting for him in our deluxos, he was like, I see him. I see him. I got him right here. Oh, it was crazy, dude. Totally out of the blue. I mean, it was, I was just sitting there and I was like, oh. Once the three minutes of ghost was up and everybody was back on the radar, Sergeant and Hood had a pretty cinematic battle. Then finally, the GTA gods blessed me and spawned this man close to me. With having only one kill on the board, I was still not satisfied. Be gone! For this next clip, all I'm gonna say is, I hate nachos. After getting absolutely flattened by nachos, he attempts to do a gunfight with me. And once that was complete, it was back on the hunt for Mr. Hood. Since he was hiding in ghosts yet again, we had to follow the breadcrumb trails, which led us over into this area. Cry. It seemed like a job well done. Mr. George sent me another message saying thanks and to kill Alex. Now, at the time, I didn't know who Alex was. A couple minutes and a couple messages later, I ended up finding out who Alex was. Where are you going? I'm talking to you. Alex, where are you going? How was this man gonna try to blow me up and then start running away? Fear has a strong stench and he is reeking of it. Anyways, the pursuit on Alex sadly did not last that long. What's up with it, mother? After getting hit with the space cannon, Mr. Alex wanted his round two. Where's my money? Now that Alex was cleaned up, it was going to be smooth sailing from there. Or at least I thought. Hey, it's your boy. If that wasn't embarrassing enough, this man ends up going into a glitch. The funniest part is he goes off the radar like he's going to do something and ends up staying in the same glitch spot that he was in. I have never seen a more embarrassing display in my entire career. While I was trying to remember what spot to go to to snipe this man out, Alex the Mark Noob user came back for yet another rematch. I thought this was a location that you have to go to to snipe this person out, but it turns out it's not. On a good note though, Azerx managed to kill him. Now for the funny stuff. If blowing yourself up on a Mark II and going in a glitch spot wasn't embarrassing enough, this man proceeds to go passive mode as soon as he's taken out of that glitch, flies to the top of this building, 
and if you haven't been living underneath a rock, you know that you cannot be passive mode in a weaponized vehicle. So in other words, with this man being passive on a Mark II, it's free real estate. Mr. Hood sure did enjoy to hide a lot, but thank goodness for this nano drone. <laughs> My nano drone seemed to be his weakness because as soon as I got that kill on him, he disappears. Now, I thought he went away to the far out land of Tryhardville. So as I was checking out this dude's bike, this man pops back up. I want him down, give it a down, boy! Now it's time for the mega cringe. While I was busy with Jahud, this other tryhard that was off the radar decided that he wanted a piece of me as well. I have never seen somebody who got one kill run away so fast. I'm joking. You may think to yourself, Nitrix, you dying by one guy off the radar isn't that bad. But then Jesus sends me a message. L for real. Huh? I checked this man's profile out and it turns out he's a level 60. Oh boy. Before I could turn my full attention to Jesus, I still had some other fish to fry in this lobby. I was done playing games, so instead of just driving around in my night shark, I hopped in the sauce machine. And you would think with me being in a deluxo that Mr. Hood wouldn't challenge me, but he does the complete opposite. After that kill, however, Jesus sent me another message. No free kill for you, boy. Our main villain Hood ended up having enough and he left. <laughs> This meant that we could fully go after Jesus, and to make matters easier, he messaged me again and said, I'm gonna go drive. So I thought to myself, well, this should be an easy kill. Sigh! Stay mad, I'm up though. It was honestly baffling just how cringe this kid was. Not only that, but Yeezus ended up hiding from me for the rest of the session. By this, I mean he would not come out of his facility, and when he did, he would either go in an RC car or job teleport. So after dealing with that for some time, I just decided to go to another lobby. Bruh. This battle was actually kind of towards the end, but the backstory is my friend and I, Sergeant, had rolled up on this group of tryhards and started blasting at them. We couldn't take all of them down, but one of them hopped in a laser and tried to come kill us. On top of all this, however, there was this weirdo in God mode who just kept following me around and killing me. So that was nice. Sensational. But what's hilarious is I want you guys to take a very close listen to this next clip. This man somehow missed a whole orbital cannon. One of the tryhards that I killed, named Pito Curvo, teleported back to his facility to get a kill on me. I activated Ghost to buy me some time against the God Mode guy and the orbital cannon user so that I could have a chance at fighting this tryhard for a little bit. Sadly though, this tryhard had more than two brain cells, so we just posted up on top of this parking garage with thermal and it kind of started killing us all. I was forced to get up out of there, so I teleported back to my facility and came out in this mammoth Avenger, and let's just say Curvo attempted another orb. Oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. I think you missed twice, bud. I ended up leaving that lobby as well. And about two minutes later, I received a message from Mr. Curvo saying, All well played. Well, just got excited because I beat you. Ha 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 ha. Definite win. Living. Living. Yes. I guess if you miss two orbs on somebody, it means you beat them. Anyways, if you guys want to see more cringe, I would highly suggest watching this video right here. And until next time, peace.